Cerebral palsy is one of the commonest neurological disorders of childhood. It affects their ability to control their movements. It affects one in 400 children and it's a disorder that has not diminished in the last 50 years despite many advances in obstetrics. It costs Australia probably nearly three billion dollars a year and it's a cost that's not just to the community but to the child and the family that looks after that child. Over the last uh, 20 years I've noticed that cerebral palsy has not diminished despite a six-fold increase in caesarean section and this belies the concept that cerebral palsy was due to birth asphyxia and problems around delivery. We now think that cerebral palsy is due to a genetic susceptibility in these children and it's triggered by environmental problems such as infection during the pregnancy. So we've set up the world's largest uh, study of the genetic background to cerebral palsy and we're linking it in with the many happenings that can go on uh, such as viral infection during pregnancy. This project is a very ambitious project, it's a very large project, it's a very costly project. We have a very wide volunteer group of multidisciplinary experts and we employ as many very helpful scientists as we can afford but it's going to take several years and several million dollars to make an impact on cerebral palsy. We see a bright future here and we hope that Adelaide and the Robinson Institute and the South Australian Cerebral Palsy team will be the first team in the world to help identify the causes of cerebral palsy and help reduce the incidence of that major disorder.